Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we will discuss 856, paper code 856, new pattern, SSCGL tier 1 test series. As you know, our Pinnacle test series is from 8, 80, 851 to 900. There will be 50 tests. There are 50 tests in this test series and these 50 tests will be on the new pattern from 851 to 900. So those students who have not joined till now they can join. These tests will be on based on computers, computer based we have launched new platform, uh, platform, uh, platform and that will be active so that lot of trophy can be handled. And second thing that each and every question of all these 50 tests will be explained by video lectures. So those students who want to take the benefit of various tips, tricks and the experience of senior faculty, they can take the, this benefit by joining full length video with video explanation test series. Now this test is, uh, this presentation, this video is related to Mathematics 856 paper code Mathematics and yeah, as you know there are 25 questions, there are 25 questions now in Mathematics out of 100 questions. According to the new pattern it is expected that you must score at least you, you have to score in fact all the questions correct. It means there is no possibility of error because there is no shortage of time in according to the new pattern and there are 25 questions. There will be many students who will solve all the questions because there is no time shortage. If you do silly mistakes that can be a blunder for you. And recovery will be difficult because if one question is wrong, 2.5 marks will be deducted. Why? Because for example, if you have done 24 questions, correct, it means 1 is negative and 2 already deducted because one question is of 2 marks and if the negative is 0.5, so 2.5 marks will be deducted. And by chance, if you do 2 questions wrong, it means only 23 questions are correct, then 5 marks will you will be behind. And the 5 marks cost you must know that nowadays the merit cutoff and merit is very high and it is will be very difficult to catch entire 2 and entire 3. So better would be be conscious, be alert that take your time, manage the things and solve all the questions. Hardly there is scope. Some students are saying that out of 50 marks they are taking 40 plus score. I will say if you are taking 40 plus score and you are happy then please note that you are nowhere in the job. You will not get job because you have to score 50 by 50 otherwise below 48 hardly there is any chance to get job. So think in that direction that earlier it used to be a good score if you were scoring 42, 44, you were in the race of the competition. But nowadays, you will not be in the race if you are scoring 44 and you are thinking that you are very, very good in mathematics. In fact, you are very bad in mathematics because you are scoring 44 marks. Why, why, where are these 6 marks? You have to think in that way because this is the gap between this is the gap between your job and tire 1 cutoff. You may be qualified for the second tire, tire, uh, tire 2 and tire 3, but you will not get the job. So better would be you think that you have to score all the question, otherwise your mathematics is not good. Don't be happy if you are scoring 35, 40, because this is extremely bad score. And those who are scoring 35, uh, less than 35, be careful, that's prepare seriously. 
that you are also giving the exam. See in that that you are also giving exam at least be sincere. If you are scoring less than 35, because there is no use of wasting resources. Do your business or do any other activity if you are not working hard. Now <clears throat> let's do question number 51. P minus 2Q is equal to 4. Then the value we have to find the value of this expression. If I put a value here 6 and here I put uh, P is equal to 6 and Q is equal to 1, I put then this equation is set. So, 6 minus 2 that is 4. It means let me put in this 6 P 6 3 that is 2 1 6 minus 8 and we have put the value of Q is equal to 1. It means minus 8 you can write, write directly here minus 24 into 6. 144, 144 because Q value is 1 minus 64. Now, 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 8, 16, and 6 plus 1, 7 plus 4. You can see this is also the difference is 1, difference is 0. Answer is B. The next question is. The value of machine depreciate every year by 10 percent. Depreciation means it is decreasing the value. If its projected value is 50,000, 50,000 and projected value, then the value of the machine after two years, it means next year it will be 90 percent and after that it will be 90 percent of the previous year. So, the total value would be 81 into 8100 into 5, 40,500 should be the value. Next question, question number 53. If ABC is similar to DEF, there are two triangles, ABC and D. In such kind of question, there is no need to make diagram. In fact, these are easy question. Such that BC is 3 and EF is 4 area of ABC is 54, then area of DEF will be how much? As you know, the square of the corresponding side, ratio of the square of corresponding side is equal to the ratio of the area of these two triangles. What is the property? Property is, for example, 3 square and 4 square, ratio of the corresponding sides, square ratio of the square of corresponding side is equal to the area area of the corresponding triangle. Now, you can say 9 into 6, 9 it will be cancelled by 6 and 16 into 6, 96 will be the answer. This is the property next question you must learn all these properties you all properties should be on your fingertips because in this presentation we are not teaching any basic thing we are not teaching any property we are not giving you basic uh, tips we are providing to, uh, to you the solution of the questions paper so think in that direction that these are not basic lecture these are according to the exam pattern and the, the, these lecture will be a little bit fast you cope up with these lectures. Otherwise, go to our basic classes and watch all these videos first and then watch this, uh, these videos. Uh, secant theta plus tangent theta is equal to 2 plus root 5. Then the value of the sin theta plus cos theta, we have to find the value of uh, this. Now see, secant, we, as we know, secant square theta, because in this expression, it is very difficult to put value. So, we have to go by the secant square theta minus tangent square theta as you know this is the property this is the formula which is equal to 1 and a square minus b square this will be equal to a square minus b square so secant theta plus tangent theta and secant theta minus tangent theta is equal to 1 and here it is given 2 plus root 5 then as we know 
secant theta minus tangent theta will become 1 by 2 root 5. In other words, you can write, you can write because the bigger number is written first, then it will become root 5 plus 2. Or in other words, you can write root 5 minus 2. If you rationalize this, you will get root 5 minus 2. You multiply it by root, min, uh, root 5 minus 2, uh, multiply and then also divide by the same figure. You will get root 5 minus 2 because 5 uh, minus 4, it will be 1 in the denominator. Now, we have the value of these two. From this, we can find the value of secant. Secant theta plus tangent theta is equal to, here it is, it is given 2 root 5. Secant theta minus tangent theta, that we can see root 5 plus minus 2. So, if you add both, then we will get 2 secant theta and 2 plus, you can say, it will be cancelled if we add 2 root 5 and the value of secant theta is root 5. Now, if you know the value of secant theta root 5, then further you will be able to solve this question. How will you solve? you can use Pythagoras, it will be easier, root 5, secant is this by this, uh, uh, secant is always a positive uh, course, if this is 1, then it will be 2, because square of 2 and square of 1, if we add in according to the Pythagoras, we will get root 5. Now, we know the value of everything now, find this value, what will be 2, sin theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse that is 2 by 5 plus cos theta is equal to 1 by root 5. It means 3 by root 5 should be the answer. Answer is in this case A. Next question, question number 55. Given A is 50 percent larger than the C and B is 25 percent larger than C, then A is what percentage of larger than B? A, you, such kind of question you find you can solve like this, A is larger than 50 percent and B is also larger than C. So, C take it as 100, B is larger than C by 25 percent, it means it will be 125 and A is 50 percent larger than C, 50 percent larger than C means it will be 150. Now, the question is A is what percentage larger than B, A is what percent larger than, it means A is 25 percent marks uh, 25 points larger on 125, 100 it will be, 100 it will be 20 percent. D is the answer. Next question, question number 56. The time in which rupees 80,000 amounts to 92,610 at 10 percent per annum at the compound interest rate, interest being compounded semi-annually. Now, you can say this is the amount and this is the principal 1 plus compound interest can calculate it semi annually. You can say this. Now, as you know, this is the cube of uh, 9261 divided by 8000. 9261 divided by 8000 then it will be the cube of 21, cube, cube of 21 is 9261. You have, you must learn at least few basic cubic ident identities and 20 cube will be 8000. It means 1 plus, you can say 21 by 20 and we have to find the value. It means if the base is same, the value of this will be 3. So, 3 terms, there are 3 terms and it means if three terms, the answer would be A because six months, six months and six months, three times. So, it would be A. Next question, question number 57. The question is average of, in fact, the last question was very tricky. Student may tick this D. So, you have to be careful because if you can reduce silly mistake, 
and in such kind of question however this is easy question comparatively but you can do silly mistake by uh, clicking the button on d that will be the wrong answer now the question is 57 the average of 50 numbers is 38 okay. if the two numbers named 45 and 55 are discarded the average of the remaining remaining means 48 number 48 number and you can say 38 into 50 1900 and if you discard these two it means do minus 100 we will have 1800 so 1800 divided by 48 will be the answer you can say you can say you can also it will be divided by 6 then and if it will be divided by 75 by 2 37.5 is the answer the exact answer 37.5 now the question is 58 the value of in this question in this question cos 1 degree cos 2 degree cos 3 degree and then it will be here here this is like this cos 177 degree it means we have here middle in the middle cos 90 degree also and cos 90 degree as you know is 0 if cos 90 is 0 then entire expression will become 0 answer is a now the next question question number 59 a system can fill can be filled with water by a pipe in 5 hours and it can be emptied by a second pipe in 4 hours this is filling you have to be careful in this kind of questions uh, it is filled and it is emptied if both the pipes are open when the system is full the time in which it will be emptied will be how much you can say a and b for the simplicity purpose you can put minus sign for the empty purpose and 5 plus 5 that is 4 in 5 hours and 4 hours take LCM 20 so we have taken total capacity 20 units 20 units in 1 hour it will fill 4 and in it uh, 1 hour it will empty 5 unit so net impact will be both are working the net impact will be minus 1 and total capacity is 20 it means it will empty the entire fill tank in 20 hours c is the answer question number 60 p and q are two points on circle with center at o r is a point on the minor arc of the circle between the points p and q the tangents to be circle to the circle at the point p and Q meet each other at point S. If PS angle PSQ is 20 degree, we have to find the angle PRQ. Now take this like this. These are two points P and Q, and this is O. R is the point on the minor arc. R is this is this is the R point R. Minor arc of the circle between the point P and Q, P and Q the tangents to the circle at the point p and q meet each other at the point c so you can say these are the tangent these are the tangent and these meet at a point s psq psq this is 20 degree P R Q P R Q. We have to find the value of this. P R Q. We have to find the value of this. Now, these are 90 degree because why? These are tangent. 90 degree, 90 degree. 180. It means some of these two angles should be 180. If this is 20 degree, then it should be 160 because this should be 180 both. And if it is 160, then it will be 200 it will be 200 degree and angle formed at the center is double as compared to the angle formed at the circumference if the cir angle cir uh, at circumference will be half that is 100 degree 100 is the answer next question question number 61 
थ्री नंबर्स आर इन द रेशियो वन टू थ्री बाय एडिंग फाइव टू ईच ऑफ देम द न्यू नंबर्स आर इन द रेशियो टू थ्री फोर टू थ्री फोर द नंबर्स वुड बी हाउ मच नाउ डू सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन बाय ऑप्शन इट विल बी वेरी इजी इफ यू एड फाइव देन इट विल बी फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव इट कैन नॉट बी फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फाइव इट कैन नॉट बी वन सिक्स टू प्लस फाइव सेवन इट कैन नॉट बी फाइव प्लस फाइव टेन टेन प्लस फाइव फिफ्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी रेशो इज टू थ्री फोर आंसर इज डी आंसर इज डी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर इज सिक्सटी टू ए मैन कैन स्विम थ्री किलोमीटर पर आवर इन स्टील वाटर इफ द विलोसिटी ऑफ द स्ट्रीम इज टू किलोमीटर विलोसिटी ऑफ द स्ट्रीम इज करंट स्पीड द टाइम टेकन बाई हिम टू स्विम टू ए प्लेस टेन किलोमीटर अप स्ट्रीम एंड बैक इज हाउ मच टाइम इट विल टेक now 10 km that is the distance of you can say the going and coming back will be 10 and 10 and total time we have to find 10 divided by upstream upstream is uh, let's take first downstream 3 plus 2 and then upstream 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 because the there will be the neg 2 uh, minus 2 from 3 that is 1 So answer is two plus ten, twelve. Twelve hours will take to complete the journey to and fro. Next question, question number sixty-three. The question is: If the pole of twelve meter height cast a shadow four foot three meter long on the ground, then the sun angle of elevation at that instant is how much? Here it is twelve, and the shadow is you can say. Cast a shadow four root three long on the ground, four root three, and we have to find the value of a tangent. Tangent theta we have to find because we have to find the value of this. Now twelve by four root three. You rationalize it root three divided by root three, root three divided by root three, then it will be twelve. Root three is the value of tangent sixteen. Answer is B. Next question. Question is: If ten men, twenty women, and forty children can do a piece of work in seven month, seven month, then five men, five women, five children together can do the half of the work in how many days? You can say here: four men is equal to four children is equal to one man. You can say two children is equal to. Twenty uh, two children is equal to one woman. So here five women is will be equal to ten children. Five men is equal to twenty. Twenty children, and five children are already there. So thirty-five. There are thirty-five children. In how many days thirty-five children will do the work? If forty children do the work in seven months. Forty children do the work in seven month. One children will take more time, and thirty-five children will take less time. Less time. You can say eight months it will take. Eight months it will. They will take to complete the work. Question number sixty-five. If sine theta plus cos theta cosec theta is equal to two, then the value of sine nine theta plus cosec nine theta. So, if you find such kind of question, put the value. When we have one sine theta one and cos theta also one, then it will become two. When theta value is ninety degree, theta value is ninety degree, then it will be have it will have one. Theta value ninety degree, it will have one. So, if you put here one power nine plus one power nine, one power nine, so one plus one two, two will be the answer. Question number sixty-six. Malt price of a mix is sixteen hundred. Shopkeeper gives two successive discount of ten percent and X percent to the customer. If the customer pays twelve hundred twenty-four for the mix, find the value of X. You can say sixteen hundred into ten percent. That is one hundred sixteen. You can reduce directly. 
फोर्टीन हंड्रेड फोर्टी आफ्टर फर्स्ट डिस्काउंट एंड आफ्टर गिविंग द सेकेंड डिस्काउंट अल्टीमेटली कस्टमर हैज टू पे ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फोर इट मीन्स टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन इज द डिस्काउंट ऑन द सेकेंड टाइम एंड सेकेंड टाइम डिस्काउंट इज ऑन हाउ मच फोर्टीन हंड्रेड फोर्टी इट मीन्स ऑन फोर्टीन हंड्रेड फोर्टी डिस्काउंट इज टू वन सिक्स एंड ऑन हंड्रेड इट विल बी ऑन हंड्रेड इट विल बिकम फिफ्टीन परसेंट आंसर इज सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन आउट ऑफ टेन टीचर्स ऑफ ए स्कूल वन टीचर रिटायर एंड इन हिज प्लेस ए न्यू टीचर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स एज ज्वाइन एज रिजल्ट एवरेज एज ऑफ द टीचर्स इज रिड्यूस बाई थ्री इट मीन्स टेन टीचर्स इन टू थ्री थर्टी इज रिड्यूस्ड द एज ऑफ द रिटायर थर्टी इज रिड्यूस्ड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव हैज रिप्लेस्ड इट मीन थर्टी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव फिफ्टी फाइव विल बी द एज ऑफ ए रिटायर टीचर बिकॉज इन प्लेस ऑफ द रिटायर टीचर ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स पर्सन हैज ज्वाइंड इट मीन दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर एंड थर्टी इज रिड्यूस्ड टेन टीचर रिड्यूस इज टीचर बाई थ्री एवरेज रिड्यूस बाई थ्री ईयर्स देन थर्टी रिड्यूस इट मीन्स द टोटल एज वॉज ऑफ रिटायर टीचर फिफ्टी फाइव नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रेशियो ऑफ द रेडियस रेशियो ऑफ द इन रेडियस एंड सर्कम रेडियस ऑफ स्क्र इन रेडियस एंड इन रेडियस मीन्स इन साइड रेडियस इन साइड सर्कल हेयर यू कैन टेक वन वन दिस यू हेव टेकन टू सेंटीमीटर टोटल इट मीन्स हाफ इट इज वन एंड सर्कम रेडियस वुड बी सर्कम रेडियस इज दिस इट मीन्स दिस इज If this is one and this is one, if this is one and this is one, so it will be, it will be how much? Obviously, it will be root two. It will be root two. Now, you can also think in that uh, term that diagonal is root two a. Diagonal is a root टू ए रूट टू ए एंड हेयर ए इज इक्वल टू टू देन हाफ ऑफ दिस विल बी द हाफ ऑफ दिस विल बी द रेडियस देन हाफ वुड बी रूट टू सो सर्कम रेडियस इज रूट टू एंड इन रेडियस इज वन रेशो इज वन इज इक्वल टू रूट टू ए इज द आंसर यू मस्ट ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दिस एज ए प्रॉपर्टी नाउ द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन In this question, it is given there are two pie charts. Sometimes you can find the question. How generally in SSC exam, data annotation questions are easy, but sometimes it can be confusing. Ten or twenty percent chances are that question can be little bit complex. Now see in this case also little bit it is on the higher side. What is the percentage increase in the education in May month than April month? This is May month. And this is April month. April month salary is twenty four thousand. We have to find what is the percentage increase in education in May month. Education where is education? Education A forty seven percent. So twenty four thousand into forty seven percent. And Eleven twenty eight, eleven two eight zero, is the education expense in April and May. May month C, education A is here fifty percent. So fifty percent of twenty five is twelve thousand five hundred, twelve thousand five hundred, and the increase is increase is twelve twenty on how much? Eleven to eighty increases this on this on a hundred it will be on hundred it will be you can take two or you can say here 
it will it will be little bit more than 10 percent 10.82 you can say however for further calculations you you can also do further calculation now because in ssc time is sufficient now but you have to find the exact value however from this also you can easily think that it should be d otherwise calculate complete now the next question is question number 70 what is this question question is given here the ratio of the amount spent ratio of the amount spent for saving in april month salary and miscellaneous in the may month saving in april month saving is b and april month 18 percent of 24,000. Four thousand three hundred twenty, and miscellaneous. If you see miscellaneous, in case of in for uh, May month, May month is this, and miscellaneous is E, and which is equal to. It is not given, but we have to find fourteen percent. We have to find. This is forty percent, fourteen percent. This is fourteen percent. This is fifty percent. This is, in fact, twenty-five percent, and this is nine percent. So it will be two percent. You can also write here two percent. Two percent of fifty twenty-five thousand will be five hundred. The ratio it would be now. You can say. Two one six ratio twenty five A is the answer. Next question question number seventy one. From the salary of May, the amount spent on the grocery and electricity are amount on spent on grocery, grocery, and grocery is written here C, and C is four percent. Four percent means nine sixty is the answer. Because if you find one. Ultimately, uh, in other options, 96, 960 is not there. So, there is no need to calculate other. Now, the question number 72. In this question, it is given the average amount spent on education, grocery and saving from the April month salary would be how much? You have to find the average amount on education. Education is 47% on 100 rupees. 100, uh, 100 from 100 rupees it is 47 rupees on education on saving grocery grocery it is c that is 4 percent and saving saving is b which is 18 percent 18 percent so you can say 51 Plus 18, 69 divided by 3, that is 23, 20, 23 percentage and 23 percentage of 24,000. Five five two zero. D is the answer. Twenty-four thousand and twenty-three percent of twenty-three percent. Twenty-three percent of twenty-four thousand. We will get five five two zero. D is the answer. Question number seventy-three. A sum of rupees fifteen hundred is lent out in two equal parts in such a way that the simple interest on one part at ten percent per annum for five years is equal to the to that in the another part for. 12.5 percent per annum for four years the sum lent out at 50 12.5 percent would be how much 10 percent five for five years it means 100 rupees it will be 50 rupees 100 rupees sum or principal at the rate of 10 percent in five years it will become 50 and in the next case at the on 100 rupees it will become 12.5 into 4 that is 50 it means the interest in both the cases is same that is 50 and 50 
So, this we have to find the sum length out at 12 percent. It, it means two partitions with that simple interest on one part is equal to this the to that another part. It means if the interest is same, this is also we divide into that accordingly that is 750 and 750. 750 and 750 then it will have same interest answer is C. Question number 74 and question is given the value of sin square 25 plus sin square 65 very easy question but you should not do mistakes silly mistakes just because you are overconfident many intelligent students it does there are many intelligent students who does not do not have patience and they can do such kind of mistake sin square plus cos square theta because why cos square theta because sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta or you can say cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta so sin square theta plus cos square theta it will become 1 now the next question or the last question of this test is the perimeter of base of a right circular cone is 8 cm. If the height of the cone is 21, then we have to find the volume. What is parameter? Parameter of the base of the cone that is 2 pi r is equal to 8 cm. You can say you can say r is equal to 4 by pi. Value of r is equal to 4 by 5. And we have to find the volume that is 1 by 3 pi r square. Or you can say 1 by 3 pi and r value of r is 4 into 4 pi into pi pi to pi cancel and height pi r square h this is the volume of cone cone volume and height is given 21 so you can say pi to pi cancel 112 4 into 4 16 into 7 112 by pi 112 by pi is the answer answer is b now we have solved all the question of test 856 code in this way each and every question of math reasoning english gk we will solve all tests of 50 there are 50, there will be 50 tests for tier 1 test series and there are 80 tests for tier 2 40 mathematics and 40 uh, English of tier 2 we will solve with, through video explanation each and every questions of all sections like this we have done and students are highly advised that now earlier they used to think that 40 42 are good score in fact in mathematics this is not good score this is very average score you have to score 100 percent if you want to get job and those who are thinking that I am doing I am very good in mathematics because I am doing 35 and my English is 20 uh, I am scoring in, in English or GK 10 or 15 marks believe me still you can improve in mathematics if you are 35 scoring 35 you can improve fast 10 15 marks as compared to if you will improve GK portion so this is my piece of advice second thing is that do not do any silly mistakes point out those questions which are tricky or you can say the easy question that, but that can that can uh, force you to or you can suddenly uh, do the wrong uh, tick on that question so be careful on tricky questions because sometimes easy question have some problem now in this way we have done 856 thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best